Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, welcome to Heal Talk, as I said it, but what exactly is Heal Talk Tuesdays? We are now in December, and I must say I am so excited because in two weeks, I will be celebrating five years of being live on Facebook. It's every single Tuesday, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I have missed only one Tuesday in five years. So no matter where I am, I have come live. Uh, there was a time that I was in Mexico. There was a time that I was uh, out, uh, out and about. And you know what? It's called a dedication. So when you feel that there is an intention, because everything in life is setting an intention. And when you have your intent, it's clear, it's positive, it is... Uh, it is good with a good intention. It seems like everything works out for the best. So for those of you who do not know me, my name is Aliza Bubari. And by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and also an action coach. And many of them who know me call me the mindset reset coach. <laughs> so Heal Within, Heal Talk Tuesdays was created to have, create a, engagement, to bring empowerment and messages, and to uplift and elevate you, as it says, enlightening one experience at a time. So now that we're talking about it, I want to talk about um, one thing. I'm in the midst of a move. So after 18 years, 18 years of being in this one office that I have been, I call it the cottage. And for the view, for those of you who have visited, have come to this beautiful cottage right here in Glendale, you would know it was like home away from home. Uh, it was a house like a beautiful cottage that was converted to an office long before me. And when I came in 18 years ago, I fixed it up and everything. So this healing center of ours was very much, um, how do I say, a place of love, a place of nurturing. And so, excuse me, <laughs> I fixed this. Now, an era, almost two decades, uh, has come to an end, and I will be moving. But it's not too far. It's blocks away. And believe it or not, I am moving to a place which I will be across the street from the first original place I started my hypnotherapy uh, work. Uh, 20 years ago, actually 22 years ago, and then I moved one more time and before I got here. So why am I bringing this up? Because I think any change in our life, no matter how exciting, it can also be um, anxiety, it creates anxiety. And any change, any move, can also be stressful. Not every stress is a bad stress because as you know, move can be good stress. Uh, packing, moving, what am I taking? Am I downsizing? Am I upgrading? That entire thing, the making the changes, the holidays are coming. So there is so much that it's involved in any kind of a change, especially a move. It can be a move of office or your residential. It can also be a move for a new relationship. 
and everything we do. How do you take it? Do you deal with the stress factor? What if you're feeling anxious? How do you feel um, when, when you have to make all the changes, the change of address, the packing and everything? And, uh, you know, how do you do it? When do you do it? So the effect that it has on you, the stress, if you have help, if you don't have help, uh, how you're packing, how organized you are in packing, even the negotiation with the new place you're going, negotiation of an event place, uh, a contract, signing a contract, all of that can affect you either knowingly or unknowingly. So stress has this small little underlying way that affects you. Um, I like to call it unknowingly and it can affect your sleep factor. Stress can affect uh, the way you communicate with others. Stress can affect your um, communication with others because if you are stressed, you may jump on someone uh, and not in person, but uh, like in words and be hasty in words. You can fire back without knowing that you are stressed. So how do we cope with the stress factor is very important. Because nothing comes to you as a surprise. Once you make a decision to have a change, uh, a change of venue, a change in any shape or form, you must realize that there might be unrecognizable, unintended changes and surprises that you may need to cope with or deal with. So, but as they say in real estate, what is the return on your investment? Always have that in mind. And when I say have that in mind is I can deal with this because where I'm going, what I'm doing, who I'm going to be with, and how the place feels like is far greater than all this small little minutia and the small little stresses that I am going through. So create a list. Create a list of all the places that you have to make your change of address. And have that ready. Second thing, go to each room, sit there for a moment, or just observe. What is it that you really need to take with you? And what are the things that you just throughout the years accumulated and added that, frankly, uh, those are all little stuff. And we don't need stuff. That is just stuff because it had at one point someone gave it to you. And because it's a small little stuff, let's say even a Christmas card, you say, oh, but this Christmas card, someone gave it to me. Great. Appreciate it. Accept it at that moment. Embrace it as I call it. Right. And then you have to let it go. If this Christmas card. Uh, unless it's from your parent, even then, that was signed or the president of an organization or something like that. But if you are no longer in that space, and if you are downsizing or doesn't matter, you no longer need to keep that. Stop adding stuff on you, stuff on your environment, or stuff emotionally and it packs on without you recognizing it's affecting you. It's affecting an overwhelm and overload. So I will be downsizing. And I'm downsizing because throughout the years that I have been here, you know, I have moved my office in many of the offices. 
but I've only used three of the offices. The only thing I miss in this place would be all the storage places because it was like a house. So I have to create a new one. And that gives me more excitement because how do we do this? Do I need this or do I want this? Do I need this? Do I want this? And believe it or not, I have been literally decluttering so much. The things that I had accumulated that are no longer not, not necessary for my business, not necessary for me to keep, and I'm paying it forward. I'm taking it to um, the thrift store, two doors, I mean, two streets over, and I am giving it to them because of one person's things that it's not needed, someone will need. So I don't know how you cope with it. Do you trash it? Well, the trash is trash, but small little things. I've never done a garage sale. Um, so I'm all about paying it forward. And being December, I think it's truly the time to pay it forward and lighten up. So that's the second thing, a declutter. First one, make a list. Second, do I need or do I want? And the third part of that is, is this a necessity? necessity? Is that a necessity that has to come with it? So is it for my business or is it because I need it? That's the distinction also. So one becomes personal because I like this. This microphone is a necessity. This computer is a necessity for my business. Now, if I want my sound healing bowls, those are the things I need for the therapies that I'm doing for sound healing. Does that make sense? Okay. Now we have three distinctions in there. Once you have all that organized, becomes so much easier. Now, before you even get to do the moving, to do any of this, I want you to sit and say, how do I want to feel where I want to go? Just like there are folks who sit and write about their who they want in a, to be in a relationship with. What are the criterias, right? Now, you have to do the same thing for business. Uh, if you are okay to be in a place that it's second floor, third floor, fourth floor, because you don't mind heights, uh, what if is that a deal breaker? Is not having windows a deal breaker? Is so... Become very clear of where you go. Is this a deal breaker or not? It's the same thing by, it's the same thing for buying a house. When you want to buy a house, what are the things that you want in a house? House, office, relationship. So when you are clear in the intent that you set, Everything falls into place for you. Did you know that? So in a way, what we're calling is the law of attraction. Believe me, in the last two and a half, three months, since I knew that this is coming, of course, you know it's coming, but you're not ready until it's there and you have to, right? But in the last two and a half months, I have been out and about, looking around, finding this place and that place. And of course, um, my intention, so many know about my numbers. I function in the threes. Um, so having that so ingrained in me, believe it or not, where I'm going, the building has a three, the unit number has a three, even the zip code has a three. And soon I will reveal um, the address, everything. But I am so excited. 
so excited to be moving and how I'm coping with the stress factor of the packing is because I am so clear on the list. Who do I have to inform? What is it that I must take? I must not. And of course, the last thing is just like anything else when we, my clients who come over here and they drop the weight or when they become a non-smoker, they want to celebrate, right? And how do you celebrate? First, you must celebrate everything. Even leaving here the last day, I'm going to gather people, pop a champagne and celebrate because I've had an incredible 18 years of celebrating clients, energy, healing, so much good things. I've always had an open house during Thanksgiving. So celebrating the grace and the healing that has taken place in this place. And then once I am in the new place, the celebration of opening the door and doing an open house for um, my colleagues, my friends, my clientele, for them to come and celebrate the new place with me. That gives all kinds of loving energy. So celebrate the smallest little uh, achievements and celebrate even the doors that you are closing. Some choose to celebrate divorces. I think we need to celebrate anything that you set your mind to and it becomes a reality. And when you achieve it, achieving the smallest goal to signing a contract, which is huge, even more people celebrate buying a car than... It, it, something like this. So celebrate every achievement because the achievement is not for anyone else. It is yours. You are celebrating saying thank you to you for not having, not only having the ability, the intention, the going after it, the tenacity of it, the gregarious, the acknowledgement of you said you're going to do it and you did it. And it doesn't matter if it was good or bad. It doesn't have to be an A plus. You don't have to have a 4.8 average in order for you to celebrate and say, I achieved it. Did you pass it? Yes. Celebrate it. Did you cross the street? Yes, celebrate it. Did you sign the contract no matter what? Did you come to a negotiation? Yes, celebrate it. So in life, it's called being grateful. And when you are more grateful, believe it or not, it's like everything else falls into place. As a matter of fact, the universe, the angels, everything works for you. So... And the bottom line, let's celebrate life. No matter what stress we go through, become cognizant, become aware, become conscious of what you're feeling, what you're thinking. And if you're snapping, apologize. Apologize and say, I'm sorry, I'm under a lot of pressure. So bear with me. And people are so understandable. And everyone is out there wanting to help you because they want the best for you. And if they don't, declutter. Declutter even a person that is not there to enhance. Well, you know what? I think everyone in our life, they come into our life for a reason that not only they are supposed to impact us however they do, but it brings a certain awareness for us uh, and how we deal with them. We grow. We each grow through every single connection. We grow by 
our relationships, either personal, professional, right? And it doesn't matter if it's a relationship, that it's a friendship, a love ship, a love relationship, or even in the office. You grow with each and every connection. Um, and those who are not enhancing your life, think twice. Perhaps you no longer need to keep them or be around them. Sometimes we can't let them go. You must walk away. So I think everything in life, there is a transition. And when we think about the word a transition or transformation, and we welcome it, change is inevitable. We change with every single decision and move. So how about we take a walk and with each and every step that you take, you celebrate a sound mind, your loving heart, and your strong body. My name is Lisa Bubari, and I am here at always to engage with you. And if there is any way that I can elevate your life so you can tap within and heal, give me a call. You can always find me, subscribe, share, and let me know what you think about your move and a change in life. Until next week, I bid you goodbye. God bless you, and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.